Guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, 2x2, that's terrible, 2x2 Rubik's Cube with just paper, fully functional Rubik's Cube. So we're obviously going to need paper, printer paper, I already squared mine out, but 8 pieces of printer paper, okay, some scissors, some clear tape, it has to be clear. String, so it, target, you know, it not gonna can't really be a sewing string because that's too thin. So get more like this kind of string or yarn. So um, you also need eight different markers. I'm using paint because I didn't have markers. Six different markers. You just have to remember what. So you're gonna put it on, cause it. Oh, well, I'll get to it once. So you take the printer paper and you fold down a triangle like that, and then it should leave a rectangle. Cut away that rectangle. So I already did that. So once you got like a square, should should look like that square. That. So let's take one. And then fold it down like that so you make four diamonds. I meant four triangles. So when you open it, boom, see four triangles. Next, you fold where there's no creases. So, right there, hamburger fold. Once you fold it down, you should have six squares. I meant Oh, I just said square, uh, six <laughs> triangles. So I just did that, and one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So what you do next, it's kind of hard. You fold it in, and see those bends? You grab the middle, you have to have a diamond, sort of 3D diamond inside. 3D diamond, and then when you when you push it down, it should so, sort of look like that. But then when you fully fold it down, it should make a triangle. But when you fold it down, it should sort of look like that. So you have to keep it folded down. And then, when you have it like this, where the crease mark is, you take one, one of the flaps. See, there's two flaps. You take one of them, fold it on the crease, and do that to every single side. So, see, you should have a diamond, but this is not all the sides. You still have to do this side, too. So then now you have a diamond shape, also a square shape, or two triangles. So next, what you want to do, you don't take any of the flaps. Actually, yes, you do. So on the sides, you should have two flaps here, two flaps here. So don't do what I'm doing, I'm just showing you. It should be like that. So you take this flap. We fold it to the middle, middle piece, like that. Sorry, my camera. Fell. Like that, and do that to every single side. So now you got your weird shape, and pretty much you're almost done from this point. Actually, you're not even close, because you haven't even heard what you're supposed to do after this. But you take this. There should be two flaps here. Trying to get the second one. Two flaps here. You take one and lift up this a bit. And in there, there should be two things. I'm going to try to pop them out. See, there's that. So, what you do is you take this flap and stick it in there. Like 
that and do that to not to the bottom because the bottom you can't really do that but this side that one that one and that one so just fold in the flaps so you should have like no flaps here just flat and flat and then this side there should be a middle line and a middle line you're pretty much done a single square you still have to do eight I have five done so far but so you have to what you do is flip it upside down sorry I'm not aiming at the camera flip it upside down there should be a hole there and on the other side it should be closed off so what you do is you blow into the hole sorry so you just blow into the hole This should be like a balloon. And I'm gonna make another video on this. It's gonna be called DIY Paper Water Balloon. Okay, you guys are gonna be so pissed when you hear this. Repeat this eight times. I've done it six times already. Trust me, it took me like 20 minutes. So far, six times. So you have to do it eight times. And then you're pretty much done. But I still have to do two more times, so you guys are unlucky because you have to do eight, even though I had to do eight. Okay, once you're done all eight squares, you get your cubes and you color them. I got this for demonstration. So, so far I got three things color. This is the bottom. You see. At the heart of the Mine's not that good because it still needs to be taped up a bit. But if you want to tape down the colors, but since this this one, I'm pretty sure it's the bottom layer. But what you do is you get your string. Let me get my, I need to cut it, I need to cut some string out. Oh, it took me a long time. But, see, essentially you just gotta do that. Mine's not, my stuff isn't perfectly squared, it's sort of rounded. But I can slowly work it out. Kind of creasing it. See, look, it's supposed to work like that. There. Next part is coming to you right now. So, what you do for the second part, exact same thing, except with the other corner. So, then you just have your base. Phone just turn it, same. So you also have to add the string so it's together. So it's sort of like an X with uh, an X with laces or whatever yarn, whatever you're using. So I did it. It took me a long time, but look, it's not connected, so I can just see it's pretty durable. But see, it's not connected. That means I can do some corner turns, but I'm not going to do. The next part, I'm pretty sure. You just like do this again, and then you have to tape it in the middle. But I'm not sure yet. I'm finishing the video. Z video. So you do this again, but you do instead of doing this la layer with the yellow, you do this layer with the white. But I'm doing black for white. And it's this side. See, this is gonna be my white. See, white. Green, green, and red, and red. But then, so I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do green, black, which I'm doing white, and orange. And then you technically do this exact same thing, but with the top layer. 
See, see, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. I'm almost done. One more piece and then tie the lace. Then I'm done. You, you guys should take more time to do it. I like went as fast as I could. I'm sorry guys, I started trying to scramble it. But it's actually done if you can't tell. Let me get my stand. Okay, I sh I see Mine's not squared, so it doesn't turn that good. But you just hold it and it's hard to twist. So you like stack it up. You just try to spin it. It's not spinning right now. But I scrambled it up. And then I wanna get me turning it. Crap, I, I was actually turning it, but then it came for What just happened? No! Fell. Fell apart. Fell apart. Uh. Well, if yours is more squared, because I didn't take any time into doing this, I just like, oh my gosh, Rubik's Cube homemade. Yay, click on it. But yours, try to make it more square. Try to make it more square so it works. But a second ago it was working. Okay, okay. It still spins. I'm going to try to spin it. Okay. Bye, guys. Ready for another video? Tomorrow. Plop.